okay hello so today we will learn how to write the defect reaction so in the first class we learned how to write the defect species uh, by Crozer-Wink notation and using that concept we will try to learn how to write the defect reaction so here oh, we are taking an example let's say we have calcium oxide calcium oxide and we want to dope calcium fluoride in this material caf2 so before going to that part so i would like to into the about the structure the structure of cao is a nacl type structure nacl type structure and uh, caf is fluoride structure both are very well known structure fluoride type structure so the defect reaction can be written in two way first we will write the defect reaction balancing the cation side so here the number of cation in this crystal system is one and here the number of cation in fluoride crystal structure is also one so here doping caf2 caf2 in cao calcium oxide earlier we have already told that cation will go to cation site and anion will go to anion site so cation will go to cation site and anion will go to anion site so if ca this calcium goes to calcium site so ever overall effective charge will be neutral and if one fluorine goes to oxygen side so overall charge will be positive one positive charge because fluorine has minus one charge and oxygen has minus two charge so overall charge will be one positive charge and so the we have to balance the equation from charge point of view so one anion is left so anion will goes to the interstitial side and overall effective charge will be negative so this is the defect reaction balancing the number of cation so we can write the cation balance cation balance Now, if we write the reaction um, balancing the anion side, the reaction will look like this. CaO, CaF2. So, here the number of cation is 1 and here is 2. So, we are balancing the anion. So, here we, we write 2 now calcium will this calcium will go to this calcium site same as earlier and will give the overall charges neutral then two oxygen sorry 
to fluorine that means this anion will go to that anion side so what will be the overall charge overall charge will be one positive charge so the total positive charge is two two positive charge now we should balance this equation from charge neutrality point of view so anion is balanced so one cation is to be balanced here so we write vacancy of calcium what will be the overall charge uh, effective charge of vacancy of cation it will be two negative charge because if we consider this vacancy as no charge and cation has a plus two charge so the overall charge will be zero minus plus two this plus two is the charge of calcium and zero is the charge of vacancy so overall charge will be minus two that is denoted by two dash so you can write this is the from anion balance reaction anion balance reaction now if we ask if we doped CaF2 in Ca calcium oxide structure which reaction will be prominent first of all I would like to say uh, these two reaction has uh, can occur but one of the reaction will occur predominantly so if we ask the question which if we denote this reaction by one and this reaction is two so which reaction is predominant which reaction between one and two will occur predominantly will occur the answer will be the answer will be 2 why why this reaction will occur predominantly I say the which reaction will be predominant that depends on the crystal structure and the prominent defect which exi exist in that crystal structure here CaO is an NaCl type crystal structure and in, a, in the NaCl type crystal structure Schottky defect Schottky defect is predominant Schottky defect is predominant. Now the question is that you can take it as a home work also. Why NaCl? Uh, why the Schottky defect is predominant is a NaCl? CL structure we will discuss in the next class so for the time so for the time being let's assume that the short key defect is predominantly exist in the NaCl structure that means if the C vacancy of cation here cation is calcium and a vacancy of oxygen so here we are seeing that here the vacancy of cation is exist in this reaction that's why the second reaction will occur predominantly between one and two now we will extend that concept at some another level so the people are, do, are doping 
because to enhance the property of the material property may be oh, oh, electrical magnetic and um, so on so if we let's assume that so here we are doping caf2 in cao to increase or to modify the conductivity of the overall material so what will be the over charge carrier in the overall material how we can say from theoretical point of view we have to balance the these defect species to another extent now let's do that first you will here balance this f1 how we can balance that If I are sitting in the interstitial position, it can balance in this way. If I goes to in atomic state, so if if and to balance the charge here, one electron we have to put here. So what will be the overall reaction here? CaF2 so calcium going to calcium site everything will be same fluorine going to oxygen site with one positive charge and here you will put this value so here half of F2 plus electron so you are putting from here also now here we want to balance uh, to balance this uh, defect which is species by electron or hole how we can balance this vacancy of cation of cation half of oxygen plus two electron then oxygen is going to oxygen side so we are assuming that the defect reaction is taking place in normal atmosphere and this oxygen is just coming from the normal atmosphere because there is no chance for uh, coming of fluorine and oxygen from the crystal structure so this oxygen is coming from the environment to balance that reaction coming from this is gas from environment i am writing it in very short form from environment to balance that reaction so what will be the overall reaction overall reaction will look like here now caf2 2 CaO 2 CaO so calcium is going to calcium site with neutral charge no charge that means no charge plus 2 oxygen going to fluorine site fluorine site one positive charge and how can you read vacancy of oxygen plus two electron we can write here this also but that does not any, uh, mean anything because it's a neutral charge now here we are seeing 
the question was that what will be the charge carrier the charge carrier will be electron or hole so here we are seeing that after the balancing the equation the defect reaction or equation whatever you can say so electron is present if electron is present so the answer is charge carrier is electron charge carrier is electron so the conductivity in the overall material will be due to the movement of electron now here i would like to address two term as here the anion is excess so anion is going to interstitial interstitial site so this defect reaction is called anion excess anion excess reaction anion excess reaction that is reaction number 1 and as the here the back uh, one cation is vacant from the crystal system so this is called the cation deficient reaction cation deficient reaction now the last term is as here the electron is introduced to balance the overall reaction this reaction is we can call the oxidation reaction this one and two reaction we can call a oxidation reaction also oxidation defect reaction next class we will discuss the reduction defect reaction where the defect reaction will be balanced by hole that means hole can be represented by h dot so we will discuss in the next class i hope you have understand how to write the defect reaction using so here we use crozer wing notation crozer wink notation so if you have any problem to understand how to write this defect species with effective charge i would suggest please go through the first lecture and you will be understood very well thank you and we will continue from the next class